Welcome back to my channel bro. This channel shares information about the latest cars. Okay let's go straight into the video. Several SUVs, like the Q8, place an emphasis on sportiness while downplaying practicality. With its more athletic posture and less storage space, the Q8 is essentially an Audi Q7 with two rows of seats instead of four. Although it is thirsty, the Q8's standard 335 horsepower turbocharged V6 propels the coupe-like SUV with sufficient speed, and the suspension provides a comfortable ride without compromising any of the agility-enhancing rigidity. On the inside, the Q8 is as plush as it is technologically advanced. The BMW X6 and the Mercedes-Benz GLE Class Coupe are two rivals that offer a similar styling for less cargo room. We also analyzed the 500 horsepower SQ8 and the 591 horsepower RSQ8 independently in case you're looking for a little more power than the Q8 can supply. The base price of the 2025 Audi Q8 is $75,695, with optional upgrades pushing the price up to $83,795. We would go with the premium trim level of the Audi Q8 and customize it with a few more features. Notable features that come as standard equipment include a power-operated tailgate, heated front seats, leather upholstery, a panoramic sunroof, an integrated navigation system, and a fully digital instrument cluster. Even though 21-inch wheels are standard, we recommend the black optic option for a more aggressive look. We'd also include the towing package and the convenience package, which includes features like blind spot monitoring, wireless charging, and rear cross-traffic warning. The standard engine in every Audi Q8 is a 3.0-liter V6 with a turbocharger that produces 335 horsepower and 369 lb-ft of torque. It goes hand-in-hand -hand with Quattro all-wheel drive and an 8-speed automatic gearbox. We found the 48-volt hybrid assist system to be quite helpful during the smooth and silent stop-start operation. On the interstate, the Audi's passing power was more than adequate. But in town, it seemed reluctant unless we pounded the accelerator. While the gearbox generally behaved as expected, it worked in tandem with the engine to produce quicker responses when set to dynamic mode. We could only ask for more aggressive noises from the engine and exhaust. Compared to other Audi sedans, including the Elegant A7, it lacks personality despite its responsive steering and submissive handling around curves. While the Q8's little effort and linear feedback steering was pleasant on extended drives, it became tedious while navigating through switchbacks. Even though 21-inch wheels are standard, the vehicle we were in included the optional air suspension and sported 22-inch wheels. Even over uneven ground, these massive rollers were remarkably silent. Your time spent viewing the Autofast channel is appreciated. If you would want to stay updated on more great cars, Please subscribe and hit the bell button.